This year we've redesigned our workforce development department with an emphasis on serving business and industry and supporting entrepreneurial training. We've created the Business Opportunity Center, a place where any business, new or existing, large or small, can go to, to, to receive support and training. In 2011, the college formed a partnership with an organization called Entrepreneuring Youth and with the Franklin Center focused on providing youth entrepreneur education for young people within our community. This collaborative has produced a summer biz camp, giving students the opportunity to develop and refine their business plans, to receive one-on-one -on -one mentoring, and to participate in a business plan competition. Um, first of all, we started an advisory committee made up of local entrepreneurs from the four counties. And those individuals meet with us bi-monthly and we talk about their needs, the needs of their peers, and we put together programs and workshops that will help them succeed. When Tacoma Community College decided to redesign the business degree to include innovation and the entrepreneurial mindset, we went to the experts and asked what should be some of the major areas of learning. The person we spoke with was Justin Foster, a former TCC student and co-founder of Live Clicker. Justin talked about strategies that yield entrepreneurial success in dramatically different environments and social media. We also spoke with Irina Francis, a TCC student and founder of Harbor Fiber, about transforming an entrepreneurial idea into a sustainable business. The Entrepreneur Network is an ecosystem, and like any ecosystem, it's growing. What we envision is a collection of people in the college and outside of the college. It will feature businesses that can provide services and mentorship to uh, our entrepreneurs. Women's Night Out was a, an idea that was brought to us by a successful businesswoman out of Fort Wayne. We had about, about 150 women from around the area for a first time event. I thought it was a great, great success. It's really a fun, uh, exciting night out for, for women in the area. Go experience what it's like to see small businesses in action. Over the course of four road trips, Budding entrepreneurs toured area businesses, met with business owners, and were immersed in the entrepreneurial experience. Bloomington hosted a, a startup weekend, which is a, a global initiative that launched in the fall to support startups. Things are moving fast, uh, ideas are flying, so it's a pretty fun environment. And we had participation from about 40 people from around the area, some from Indiana University, some from the Ivy Tech community, and just people with a great idea who wanted to come in and incubate those ideas over 54 hours in a weekend. So far this weekend has been extremely successful. We found our web developer, our mobile app developer. Uh, we're one of the first and only community colleges in the country to host one of these, which has been fantastic. We try to bring in our alumni entrepreneurs that have owned businesses and been successful to come in and speak to our new and upcoming entrepreneurs on how they started in their garage or in their basement and now where they are today with many employees and perhaps on a national or global basis.